<laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was hard to watch. Okay, so that was my feet before I started my pedicure. And, like, I know having all this stuff at home means that there really isn't any excuse for my toes to look like this. But, you know, I fell into the whole quarantine thing. So, yeah. Okay, so what I started with is this bowl. This is a Conair... Conair um, like pedicure machine thing I got it off of Amazon for like 20 bucks all it does is vibrate my mom has one that has like jets but that one was more expensive I just like you know I love the little vibration so I just put a little bit of lavender Epsom salt in it and I do tend to like to use um, bath bombs especially ones that are infused with oils as you can see the vibration causes little bubbles and it's really relaxing so I like sit and do this for maybe 10 or 15 minutes um, sometimes I go as long as 20 and every now and then I'll put like vinegar in the water just to help loosen up the dead skin and as you can see it's like a nice green color because the bath bomb has dissolved once I've done that I go ahead and I dry my feet off of course and then I like to take my e-file my electric nail file and I use a regular sanding bit which is kind of like you know a it's pretty much a regular like nail file right so it's like a buffing brush um, I mean a buff a uh, buffer right so it's not super harsh but even if it is my toenails are really really strong so they're really really like they don't break easily so I'm using this to get rid of my polish that I'm wearing. Now let me tell you, this is a gel polish and I put this on my feet, this gel polish on my toes in April. I know, super embarrassing. So I'm going to just use this to get it off just because I'm being lazy and I really don't want to soak and there really isn't that much to soak off. So the toes that do have nail polish left over, I'm just, you know, sanding that off. Now I'm taking these cuticle nippers and this dusting brush to dust off all of the nail polish and then I'm using these straight edge cuticle nippers to cut my nails in a straight line. I don't usually do this. This is actually my first time. As you can see there, there was a serious struggle but I did this because I really wanted my um, toes to be very like square, like super square. So I'm just doing this to all of my toes and then I'm taking one of these like foot scraper things. You can get this at the dollar store, you can get it at Walmart, you can get these anywhere. And I'm using the little shaving part to get off all the dead skin. And then I'm also taking an exfoliating peel gel. Um, this is by Biore. I've had it for, not Biore, uh, God, the name will be down in the description box, I'm sorry. So I'm using this to get off all the dead skin, all those little beads, that's what that was. So now I'm taking off all that dead skin and I'm going in with this foot scrubber, which is like a squishy, um, I don't really know what to call it, but it's like a squishy soap bar and it just really takes off all the dead skin and you know, all the dust, all the gulk and nasty stuff that is on your feet. I'm using a little bit of my nail cuticle remover and some... A foot lotion so I am generously applying foot lotion to my feet and then I'm taking these silicone socks that I got off of Amazon and I'm just sliding my foot in and the silicone actually just helps to keep the moisture in um, so it can soak into your feet as you can see like you really can't walk around with these but um, I'm sure if you put like socks on you could look how smooth my skin looks now from the beginning of the video like Oh my gosh. So I'm taking a little bit of acetone and getting a lot of that moisture off of my nails. And then I'm taking my dip powder nail primer, which just almost like dries out the nail because I am going to be using gel polish and gel polish seems to stick better to a dry surface. So this is my Gelin um, nail polish. It's this really pretty mint green and I use the model one top coat and base coat. And I'm just, of course, painting my nails um, just like you would any normal nail polish except for I just cure this and the great part about it is like I can throw my shoes on right away 
So I wanted to add a little bit of pizzazz. So I'm using these uh, butterfly decals that I got off of Amazon. Of course, all of my nail supplies are from Amazon. And all you do is drop it into a little bit of water, set a timer for 20 seconds. Once that 20 seconds is up, it slides right off of the paper. And you can just take your, I usually use this, um, this little, uh, God, what, what would you call it? It's kind of like a brow picker thing. I don't know. I used it for my stones. So um, this is like perfect to just place it. And the great thing about it is you can move it around and it doesn't really disturb your nail polish as long as it's gel polish. I don't know how it would be on regular nail polish. But you can like move it around to get it where you want it. And it just makes your nails like it takes it up a notch it just makes it look so professional so well done like oh my god girl look at that detail yes so once I have the butterflies where I want them I'm going in with my gel in white nail polish and I'm going to use this to make a couple of little dots so I'm taking this dotting tool and I'm just going to you know add some dots to my nails just to make it look a little bit more professional so it's not just like two butterflies just sitting there once you're done you add cuticle oils to your toenail cuticles yes your toes do have cuticles and that's pretty much it this is probably not the best pedicure video but this is a realistic pedicure video I don't shave my toes so please don't judge me and I really hope you all enjoy this video please make sure to like share subscribe to my channel and until next time stay blessed